All right, guys, how's it going? So I was left a comment uh, on here yesterday by um, Gethin Hughes. Is that about it? Is it? First of all, sorry, I thought it said Get In Hughes, but I think it's Gethin Hughes, uh, Hughes 8153. How's it going, buddy? Um, he dropped me a link to a Rick Parry interview, Rick Parry, the former Liverpool chief executive, and he said, seeing this done, really interesting from Rick Parry, in my opinion. Um, and it is. I have watched that interview. Uh, Rick Parry interview with Simon Jordan. Not sure if I mentioned it. Um, I think it might be from a few months ago, but, and this might be a, a snippet of it. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But if you've not seen it, I think I would recommend that you watch it. And it's only about 10 minutes long, I think. Um, Rick Parry talking about Rafa, Rafa, as uh, Tom Hicks would say, talking about Tom Hicks, talking about George Gillette, David Moores, um, talking about the, the infamous Rafa, Rafa, rant, uh, giving some good insight into Liverpool Football Club at the time. And I think it's worth you uh, having a quick look at that. Um, I will put the link in this video description. So please look in the video description um, uh, and take a look at that. Uh, Rick Parry, you know, I, I miss them days uh, as Rick Parry as chief executive, to be honest with you. Uh, I do, although many at the time felt that he wasn't a great chief executive. I remember people that tried to buy Liverpool Football Club telling me that this, you know, that he was an accountant. You know, the story is he was an accountant, not a football chief executive. And because David Moores was, uh, he didn't want the limelight and the attention, that people were of the opinion that Liverpool needed a very strong CEO. I don't know if it's um, you know, fair or not. I didn't have much dealings with him. Rick Parry did invite me to Anfield for tea and biscuits once. It's true. I didn't go. Uh, I, I, that was to do with um, a video that apparently existed. Uh, that I was that I knew about, um, which may have been secretly recorded, uh, involving Liverpool players or a player or two, uh, and I was aware of it. Um, and also at the time, there was a couple of journalists deployed specifically in the city to try and get dirt on a particular Liverpool player um, that they had it in for and it won't surprise you when, where them journalists were from um, and uh, I had a bit of knowledge about the whole situation uh, and I did speak to Rick Parry about it um, and he was like Duncan are you coming for tea and tea and biscuits uh, but because my relationship wasn't the best with the club at the time, it was very mixed. Um, but depending on who it was at the club, I mean, how do you define the club? Yeah. Uh, the people that ran the official LFC website, which was new at the time, um, initially were pretty cool with me, but then they went a bit frosty. There used to be something called an e-season ticket on the LFC official website. And you could sign up and get audio commentary and things like that. And there were, on the sign-up page, there was one review. And it was me, by me, saying how good it was, blah, blah, blah. You know, sort of like sign up for the Liverpool FC e-season ticket. This is what Dunk thinks from Cotter. So, you know, they would use things like that. So, obviously, that was positive. And, you know, I did speak to them about other things. And I've held the club many, many times over the years, uh, promote certain things, you know, like, uh, oh, did you hear that? Uh, tournaments and things like that. Uh, and worked with the club's partners, because uh, obviously I've got an audience. Um, but then there was times when the club was aggressive towards me, when I was helping Liverpool fans. So, for example, um, you could buy an official LFC top via cop talk, not from a shop on cop talk of mine, but someone that I knew approached me and said, look, I can offer your readers the exact same official kit. Not not like from fucking some dodgy country, from England, an English uh, company, 
a sports shop. They went, I can offer the kit, the official kits, exact same kit that's in the store with the holograms, everything uh, authentic. Um, you could shift a few of them for me uh, and, I'll, and I'll cut you in. Or they said, I can offer free postage to you, to your people and instead of giving you commission. And I declined the commission and I said, well, if you can give my, you know, my, my readers um, free postage, especially those overseas, remember, places like Australia and that and the rest of the world, which I think at the time postage could be 20, 30 quid or something on top of a kit, but they could do it for free. Then I said, I'll do it. So I, I ran, you know, that kind of thing on the website. Say, hey guys, if you want, you know, an official kit, it's cheaper than the clubs, uh, than at the club, what they will charge you. It's the same kit. And, the, and fuck, will you wait a minute? And then the club came down on me, um, you know, saying this is aggressive advertising. They were threatening and stuff like that. So the, the relationship at the time was a bit sus and, uh, you know, a bit dodgy. Uh, I was never sure where I was. If it helped the club, they were nice for me. Uh, if it was going, you know, not helping the club, but helping the fans more, there would be a bit strange for me. But, you know, obviously, I, you know, I, I remember going to uh, to a game and sitting in the director's box with Rick Parry and that, do you know what I mean? But not with him, like next to him, like, all right, Rick, how are you doing? But, you know, sat one directly behind him, so to speak. And uh, and being in there at half time, having, you know, uh, refreshments and things. Uh, but Rick Parry, when he became aware of what I knew, uh, said, come in for tea and biscuits, but I declined. I was like, no, nah, it's a setup. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to go there, and then they're going to spring some letter on me, you know, like uh, some kind of proceedings, I've done something wrong. So I never went uh, to that. So that's just a little story about um, about Rick Parry. But the interview is very good. Um, I would watch it if you've got time. Uh, and if you do go and watch it, come back and comment on this video what you thought of it. All right. If you're a Cop Talk VIP member, it is uh, on the. Uh, it's available to watch on the members' website in the executive lounge. If you you know can't be, I don't know. If you want to look at it later, you don't need to come back to this video. Um, we did a promo on the uh, on the members' website yesterday. Very rare that we do anything like that. Um, it was good to see you guys take that up. It's made me very happy because a lot of you are really chuffed with that. Uh, it's there is a video on here on my channel I think I uploaded yesterday telling you how to claim that or look at yesterday's morning briefing yesterday's briefing look in the video description for the link but at some point I mean I'll take it down when I finish recording my videos so it really is your last chance if you want to claim that it's like 50% off or something for a year do you know what I mean and um, it's just good to to, uh, to have you guys so supporting me and good for me to help you so um yeah. Right. Anyway, enough waffle. Uh, if you appreciate this video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you saw that interview and, you know, any thoughts on Rick Parry. Yeah, we used to we used to always comment on his ties. I think we had a, a member called Rick Parry's tie, <laughs> uh, which is going back some years now. Um, but there was also, you know, I was just thinking there was also... Um, when the L4 consortium and the Middle East, you know, and all that tried to buy Liverpool Football Club, there was a lot of negativity um, expressed or claimed, you know, like Rick Parry's trying to block it. He, will, he doesn't want to do business with this one person. Uh, do you remember the movie Goal? Do you remember that? A Goal trilogy? Um, that ended up being uh, featured around... Um, Newcastle United, but Liverpool were the club that the creator uh, wanted uh, to, to the movie to be featured around, um, and it was believed that it would give it would give good exposure to Liverpool Football Club at the time because it was a FIFA endorsed project. Uh, so that you know the, the 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 film movies and posters and everything would have been all over the world in every country, and it would have been a, the player in the Liverpool kit. So goal the movie, if you've ever seen it, that would have been uh, Liverpool, but. Rick Parry allegedly blocked it and said, no, we don't want it. You know, I, I liked Gold the movie. I thought it was all right. I weren't too sure about the uh, the follow-ups, but Gold was all right. I remember going to the world premiere. Uh, I think it was in, it, was it in London or Newcastle? I don't know. I went to a couple. I think it was London. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, so yeah, again, people, you know, that were involved in that said this would have made a lot of money for Liverpool Football Club, but Rick Parry blocked it. So... 
So many little tales and things you could talk about forever. Anyway, please thumbs up the video if you appreciate it. Um, drop me a comment. If you want to get me a coffee, uh, you can hit the super thanks button. Please read the video description, join the newsletter, and connect with me on social media. That would be very nice. All right, guys. Uh, oh, I think I might have just remembered what I said in my morning briefing. I was going to go to England tomorrow. Yes, that's right. My, my, in my last video, I, I started talking about Charlotte, my daughter, and I couldn't remember, you know what I'm like, I couldn't remember why I mentioned it. So um, I was going to go to England tomorrow um, for five days, but I'm not. I'm staying here. Um, I will lose the flights, but um, I think it's important that I'm here at the moment uh, because of the Ruben Amarim things and stuff like that. So um, I'm putting you guys first. Yeah. If I go away, it's difficult to do the videos and everything. All right, guys, uh, I shall speak to you in a bit. Let me know if you watched the Rick Parry thing and what you thought of it. All right.